Sometimes I think the French kind of get it. French President Emmanuel Macron in August said his country was at a tipping point. This is what Macron said in August. He said his country was at a tipping point due to climate change and the war in Ukraine. Wow. He said, this is the president of France. He said France must come to terms with the brutal reality that we have come to an end of, quote, the age of abundance. He called for something called shared sacrifice. You know, my parents and grandparents spoke of shared, I don't know what that means, shared sacrifice. I have no idea what that means. But here is what Macron said in August. He said, what we are currently living through is a kind of major tipping point or a great upheaval. We are living the end of what could have seemed an era of abundance, the era, the end of the abundance of products, of technologies that seemed always available, the end of the abundance of land and materials, including water. He went on to say this overview that I'm giving, the end of abundance, the end of insouciance. Wow. Imagine a president saying insouciance. The end of assumptions. It's ultimately a tipping point that we're going through that can lead our citizens to feel a lot of anxiety. Faced with this, we have a duty, duties, the first of which is to speak frankly and clearly without doom mongering. That would be the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, this summer. You know, America had a president who talked that way to the American people. His name was Jimmy Carter, and it's a miracle he made it out of the White House alive. Ronald Reagan replaced him, told us what we wanted to hear, and that's why 40 years later, it's over. It's over. Meanwhile, in France, oil refinery workers for Exxon and Total have been striking for higher wages since September 27th. Half of France's oil refineries, because of that, have been shut down. Workers inside several nuclear power plants in France have also gone on strike. The French government has ordered these strikers back to work. They're saying go back to work or face six months jail time. So in response to the shutdown of the refineries this month, France is now purchasing 40% of its diesel fuel from Russia, right? So they're, you know, they're dealing, they're dealing with it. On Sunday, 100,000 workers took to the streets of Paris to protest inflation, climate change, and the government's treatment of refinery workers. It's all connected, right? Inflation is caused by climate change, but the oil companies will blame the rising fuel costs on labor. The real solution to rising fuel costs, keep it in the ground. A general strike is expected for Tuesday in France, which will see rail workers, teachers, civil servants, healthcare workers, and supermarket employees walk off their jobs in solidarity with the refinery workers.